This video offers some practical tips for using the hydraulic shutoff valves during engine, fuel, or hydraulic system maintenance on the 525, 525A, and 525B model Citation aircraft. The hydraulic shutoff valve on these models is an electrically controlled, motor-operated shutoff valve that prevents hydraulic flow to the engine when it is closed. It also allows thermal relief from the engine side when closed. The purpose of this valve is to stop hydraulic fluid flow to an engine in the event of an engine fire. It can also be used as described in the applicable aircraft maintenance manual when performing engine, fuel, or hydraulic system maintenance. To close the valve, lift the guard from the engine fire switch on the engine fire tray and press it once. This causes both hydraulic fuel shutoff valves to close, the firewall shutoff valve enunciation to illuminate, as well as the white bottle-armed push button. Exercise caution not to activate the white bottle-armed push button switch just below the engine fire push button, as this will discharge the fire bottle to the engine. After the shutoff valve is closed, disengage the applicable firewall shutoff circuit breaker found on the left side circuit breaker panel in the cockpit. It is important to remove power from the circuit because a constant 28 volts DC is applied through the hydraulic shutoff valve relay whenever it is closed. Team CJ has received reports of damage done to these relays due to power surges when the valves were closed for maintenance with power applied, resulting in valves that fail in the closed position. Please note that this information only applies to the hydraulic shutoff valves and not the fuel shutoff valves, which are a different part number. Team CJ recommends a visual verification that the valve has closed prior to any subsequent maintenance action. The hydraulic shutoff valve is located inside the aft baggage compartment above the baggage ceiling along the outer edge of the engine beam. A red arm is located on top of the valve and indicates the physical position of the valve. Words marking the open and closed positions are found on the body of the valve. Reopening the valve is the reverse of closing. Re-engage the circuit breaker, lift the guard off the engine fire push button switch, and push once. You should see the firewall shutoff valve enunciation disappear and the white bottle armed light darken. If for any reason the valve fails in the closed position and the hydraulic system is exercised, damage to the hydraulic system components can occur, including the engine driven hydraulic pumps if the engine is started. Thus, it is very important to visually verify that the shutoff valve has reopened. Ensure the red arm is positioned above the open mark on the valve before using the hydraulic system. In summary, we ask you to remember three items when exercising the hydraulic shutoff valve. First, take care not to push the white bottle arm push button when it is illuminated. Second, disengage the firewall shutoff valve circuit breaker after closing the valve and keep it disengaged until you need to reopen the valve. And third, visually verify the valve has reopened to enable proper hydraulic fluid flow and avoid damage to system components. If you have any questions concerning the information presented in this or any other 525 series video, please contact Team CJ toll free at 855-832-9831 or directly at 316-517-7785 or you can email us at teamcj at txtav.com.